Lori Schaefer. Looking back at the moment she got engaged, Will you marry me? Evelyn Schaefer was especially pleased with the ring. I'd never seen anything like it, and it's gorgeous, and so he did a very good job. <laughs> Her fiancé proposed with diamonds that weren't mined from the earth. They were created in a lab. With lab going, it was just kind of a way to help with sustainability. And recent innovations mean the manufactured stones are much more affordable than natural diamonds. We're both students, and so I didn't want us to start our marriage with a bunch of debt over a ring. Lab-grown diamonds are made inside a plasma chamber. With the right temperature, pressure and gases, the process forms a gem in just a few weeks. We've created uh, this technology in order to really remove the human and environmental uh, tolls. U.S. retailer Vray is seeing huge demand from millennial and Gen Z consumers. It's expanding rapidly and opened its first Canadian showroom this year. We are looking at uh, an industry that's changing and we're at the forefront of changing um, for the better. Global sales of lab-grown diamonds jumped nearly 40% last year compared to the year before, and big brands are catching on. Diamonds are forever. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Jewelry giants Pandora and Swarovski have launched lab-grown diamond collections. The gems are also shining bright with celebrities. U.S. regulators have declared lab-grown diamonds are the real thing, chemically and physically, and they're graded and certified the same way. But experts warn compared to natural diamonds, lab-grown don't hold as much value. Most people can't distinguish between the two, but the one is still worth significantly more and much more desirable than the other one. This is probably our, our best seller. Still, this Toronto jeweler is doing big business selling only lab-grown stones. A diamond is a diamond, whether the diamond is mined outside or whether it's made in a lab. Either way, the hope is the same, that they'll be forever. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.